Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video, we are gonna be fixing a read-only hard drive. And the reason I'm making this video is because once I plugged in a two terabyte Western Digital hard drive, well, the drivers loaded up just fine. We'll go ahead and take a look at that real quickly here. As you can see, I plugged in an HDD1021 Western Digital 2.0, which is a two terabyte hard drive. Now, let me show you exactly what's transpiring here. So all the drivers downloaded just fine, etc. Well, the only problem here is I come over here to my little Windows symbol. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. We'll come up here to computer and it does not show up. Now this is a different one. And I have another video how to really get pretty detailed into a primary partition. If you're hard drive is not showing up. So if this video does not help you, you might want to take a look at that other video I have for another hard drive that was not showing up. So real quickly here, let me just get to the steps here. Try to make this video short. So we're going to come down here to our symbol one more time. We're going to hit that. Now we're going to go to control panel. Click that. All right, let's go ahead and get that nice and big so we can see what's going on. Now what you want to do is make your way over to administrative tools. Okay, so it's going to be in your computer settings, control panel, administrative tools. Let's click that. Okay, now we come to this area right here. We want to go ahead and go to computer management. Computer management. We're going to go ahead and actually double click that. Sorry. All right. Now, once we've double clicked that and we're in computer management, you want to make your way over to underneath storage is going to be disk management. If you don't see disk management, click this little arrow right here underneath storage and you're going to come to disk management. Double click that and it'll take a few seconds to load here while we're connecting to the virtual disk, loading disk and read only now. It says read only now. This is really confusing. So we're going to have to go a step further. We're going to kind of have to hack into our Windows system here. And so what we're going to do, come down here to the Windows button again. You're going to hit this right here. And what you want to do is you want to go to in the search bar right here you want to go ahead and write in D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Okay, so give it a second if it doesn't pop up right away, and you'll see disk part. Now go ahead and left-click that just one time, and this will pop up right here. And now we have a disk part right here. What we want to do is we want to type in list, list, space, disk list space disk hit enter on your keyboard and now these are going to show up right here now okay now it's disk 3 is online and here is our two terabyte hard drive right here okay so now what we want to do now that we see this here okay and again keep your computer management page open so you know exactly which one it is again disk 3 and I know that that's the biggest hard drive I have so that is the two terabyte one Okay, now we're going to go ahead and choose this one here. Okay, guys, so now what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and type out select S E L E C T disk 3. Okay, now hit enter. All right, guys, now after we push enter, we see that disk 3 is now the selected disk. So right now down here after this disk part here, let's go ahead and type in attributes, A-T-T-R-I-B-U-T-E-S space disk K space clear C-L-E-A-R and read only one word, R-E-A-D-O-N-L-Y. So attributes disk clear randomly. All right, now we hit enter. Disk attributes cleared successfully. All right, guys. Now let's go ahead and put exit E X I T and hit enter. All right. So we just exited out of that. Okay, guys. Now after we did that, we came back here. We exited out of disk part and look at now our disk three is now back online. It does not say read only. It still says unallocated, but let's go ahead and see if we can fix that. And But first, we're going to check to see if it's still here. Nope, not there yet. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to hover right over this. We're going to right-click that, and we're going to create new simple volume right here. We're going to come over here to Wizard. Again, we're going to start this up.
keep F there. All right, we'll keep all this the same. And we'll go ahead and finish up. All righty, guys, yes. So this has officially done it. So guys, that was unbelievable. Okay, so it formatted, and now it says a primary partition right here, guys. I'm really excited about that. Okay, guys, before I let you go, I did have one little problem formatting my two terabyte hard drive that we've been working on here. So before I let you go, if you do run into this problem here, this should help you. Now, as we see up here, okay, we're online. It's healthy. It's primary partition. It's our drive F that we've been working on exactly. Okay, so what we want to do up here, this is only if you're having trouble formatting. I'm trying to format it. So you right click it, and if you try to format it, it'll come up, you know, formatting not successful. Okay, guys, so I'm having trouble formatting like I've just discussed here. So what we're going to do here, instead of the file system in TFS, we're going to go ahead and drop down and do exfat. Okay, and then we're going to try to start the... Um, and just make sure that you're willing to say OK to this because it will erase everything on the hard drive. So let's hit OK. And we'll just wait a little while until we find out what's going on with this format. OK, wonderful, guys. It formatted. So again, if you are having trouble formatting in NTFS, in okay, for instance, look at my, okay, my F drive is now exfat. And look at my my book is FAT32. So again, guys, mess around with your settings if you're having format issue errors come up. Again, with mine, it's going to be different than yours. So if you're having formatting issues, guys, mess around with file system that they give you. And go ahead and whatever one they choose for allocation unit size, keep that one. And hit OK and we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit Format OK. All righty. Looking good. I'm gonna close out of. Uh, I'm gonna close out of this because it's already formatted. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the final check, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and keep that open for right now. Let's come down here to the start button here. Come up here to computer. And beautiful, guys. Here it is, right here. Wonderful. All right, guys. Anyway, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And don't forget, if you're into it, please subscribe. I really appreciate that. Take care. Bye bye.